Learn VR MR. Come to the Spatial XR community. In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to get input from the controller's joystick. We will still configure this in the input configuration file. First, I will create a new action and name it Test Right Thumbs Bugle. Now, I want to get the joystick input from the right controller. So I need to set the action type to value because we need to get the value of the joystick. Next, I set the control type to vector2 because the joystick on the controller is a two-dimensional vector input. Then we configure the binding for this action. In the binding property panel, we select path. Since I want to get the joystick input from the right controller, I click on XR controller. Then XR controller, right hand, and expand usages. Here, there is a primary 2D axis, and we click on it. This input represents the joystick input on the controller. And it determines which side of the controller's joystick input it is based on whether we selected the right or left controller. So far, we have configured many key inputs. You might notice that when the action type and control type are different, The available key inputs in the path section will also be different. For example, right now the action type is value and the control type is vector2. So you can see that only these options are available under path. In contrast, when the action type is pass through and the control type is axis, many more options are available to choose from. Similarly, when the action type is a button type, the available keys are different from the ones mentioned earlier. So before binding keys, we need to confirm the action type and its control type in advance. Now we have configured the actions related to the controller's joystick. Next, let's retrieve this action in the script. We will use the same approach and bind a method to the action. In this method, we will use the input action callback context type parameter to get the joystick input. Since the joystick input is a two-dimensional vector, we will use vector2 to represent it. And then we will use callback read value by specifying its generic type as vector2.
we can ensure that the data we retrieve is a two-dimensional vector. Through this method, we can retrieve the joystick input values from the controller. Then, we can output this value in the Unity console. Now everything is working fine. Let's return to Unity. Reference the corresponding action. And run the program to test the effect. Once we enter the scene, I can try moving the right controller's joystick. And you will see that the Unity console outputs the right controller's joystick input. It is represented as a two-dimensional vector, including the values for the x-axis and y-axis. So the joystick input configuration is working correctly as well.